Hello, I'm Les Cowie, and thanks for joining us for this short presentation in which I introduce you to the seven things that apply to every job. All jobs, no matter what the job is, they apply. You can take a job and you can look at it from these seven x-ray points of view and quickly find out what it will take for you to be seen mastering the new job quickly. And the seven steps are these. 1. Environments. 2. Flow. 3. Frequency. 4. Ins and outs. 5. Checklists. 6. Faults. And 7. Patrolling. Yes. Every job has an environment and can be defined as an internal environment, which are the things closest to you that take place in the specific space for the job. But every job also has external environments where you interact with things beyond the immediate job space. And I'll go into that in the next podcast in more detail. Every job has a flow. It has a beginning point, it has an end point, and there are process steps along the way. There are many processes that may start at different points, many that run in parallel to that main basic sequence. Every job has frequencies. There are things in the job that happen more frequently than other things. And there are many things that happen in the job so infrequently that it may take you quite a long time to learn how to perform them. Now, for every process in the process flow, each process will have ins and outs. And these can be easily identified. Each process has materials, parts, components, people, systems. There are things that you need in order to apply the steps in the process to produce the required output, which may be products. It may be information. It may be a host of different things that move on to another processing point or get used immediately by other people. So it's important to understand the ins, the outs, and the processes that must be applied to them. In practice, people find that it's really valuable to create checklists for the very critical processes. Checklists help to learn how to perform the job in the correct sequence and to the correct specifications. Then, unfortunately, but it happens, every job has faults. And these faults may happen at random, but what is interesting is that some faults happen more frequently than others. And if you can get on top of those, you will see, as we go into detail in later podcasts, that this will help you master your job quickly. Now, since you learn how to do the job correctly, and you learn how to recognize when the job is running correctly, and since faults happen, it makes sense that if you patrol the area of your job, whether that's a geographic space or whether it's a computer monitor and screen with information on it, by performing a patrol pattern and inspection sequence, you can anticipate and recognize when a symptom happens that warns you of a serious fault developing, and you can resolve it and fix it quickly. So if you look at the job from these seven points of view, one environment, two flow, three frequency, four ins and outs, five checklists, six faults, and seven, your patrol pattern and inspection sequence, you should quickly learn how to be successful in that job.